The Bank of Industry and the State of Oshun have had a robust and beneficial relationship in the past few years. It started with the BOI and Oshun State Entrepreneurial Development Training Tagged Bootcamp, where potential and existing entrepreneurs were trained on how to do business as well as accessing funds from the bank. The two development partners also jointly established a 500 million Naira micro, small and medium enterprises development counterpart fund to assist entrepreneurs in the state. The bank, in partnership with the state, also established a garment factory called Omoluabi, where thousands of Oshun state indigenes are gainfully employed. Just recently, the bank took another step to boost the relationship with the state by paying a courtesy visit to the governor, Ogbeni Ralph Aregwe Shola, before the commissioning of BOI State Office in Oshubu. The deputy governor, Chief Mrs. Titi Laoye Tumori, received the team. It is a big opportunity for this state to have BOI presence in the state of Osho. We The journey started around November when the managing director wrote a letter to the uh, chief officer of this state, that is Mr. Governor, that the state should get an office for them. Immediately, within a space period of two months, I think this thing was fulfilled by Mr. Governor. <laughs> and that is exactly what we are celebrating today. And it's going to be a big opportunity to our SMEs in the state. Instead of them going to Akure to go and process their um, facilities, the journey is here at all. All what they just need is to walk into the office at uh, Ibono for all these transactions. I believe it's going to be an opportunity for SME to grow in the <coughs> state of Osho. The managing director, BOI, Mr. Rashid Olalua, in his remarks explained why the bank is opening an office in Oshubu. Uh, for us to play the kind of role we are supposed to play as a leading development bank, we needed to have more than seven locations in the entire country. Um, it doesn't make sense for an SME based in Oshubu, for instance, you know, to have to drive almost three hours to Akure, you know, just to submit an application. Um, so we decided that we need to reach out to all the states uh, with which we have a partnership arrangement to support us in the process of uh, expanding our franchise. So I wrote a letter to all the uh, state governors and I'm very pleased to say that in terms of offering us a very suitable office accommodation the state of Oshun was the first government that responded in the world. Therefore, we wasted no time whatsoever in ensuring that we got the place ready, we deployed staff, and now we're in a situation today where the office is about to be commissioned. So we are ready to go, Your Excellency. <laughs> Let me, at this juncture, um, express the deepest appreciation of the Bank of Industry uh, on behalf of the board, management and staff of the bank to say that we are very, very grateful to His Excellency and to the good people of Oshun State. We are here to support the SMEs. Uh, my people have been here for a few weeks and they are already in the process of identifying the key SME clusters that drive economic activity in Oshun State, so that we can then support those SME clusters. Uh, the, the target they have is that in the next few weeks, we should have a minimum of 25 clusters in this region, you know, and we should be able to support SMEs with loans and advances, you know, that will ensure that uh, we can create jobs for our teaming uh, populace. In her welcome address, the Deputy Governor reiterated the Oshun State Government's commitment to the development of small and medium enterprises in the state. The Governor of the State of Oshun is totally committed to the development of small-scale businesses in the state. We are all aware of it. In fact, when we came in, 
in 2010, the state was invested, I will use the word invested, by arm robbers, daily robbing the banks. And uh, he took it as a challenge and turned the state a no-go area for arm robbers. <laughs> he was the first governor to invest heavily in APC, ammo personnel carriers, and several other security gadgets that kept the thieves far away from the state of Foshu. And uh, he did several things that made the state to become investment friendly beyond Nigeria. Because even outside Nigeria, the state of Foshu was hailed for being an investment friendly state. There are quite a lot of things the governor put in place. We came up with Horib, and the first thing, again, which we did to attract the farmers and their products to the city centers was development of the rural roads, construction of the rural roads, the feeder roads. These enabled farmers to bring their products to the city centers. This government has invested over 1.7 billion naira through property in small scale businesses within the four years of its administration in the state. And uh, we are also quite familiar with what you've been doing with us. You are partnering with us with the Omoluabe garment industry. And beyond that, you've done quite a lot. I'm, an, I'm a committed watcher of your program. I've seen you empowered young people all over Nigeria. The producer is here. Yeah, and okay, you oh you're the producer. I love that program. I don't miss it. I do not miss it. On channels, I'm always glued to it. And I'm always uh, really enthralled when I see young entrepreneurs. For instance, there was a day small one one young man was playing with uh, something that looked like Coca-Cola and you turned it into big business for him. I've seen ladies, in fact, uh, mechanics and several other people, we are indeed very happy to have you in the state. This is the state it should have been before, but we thank God <laughs> that you are right here now. So on behalf of the governor, I want to sincerely welcome you and I can assure you that your stay here will be a huge success. Thank you, God bless you. Giving the vote of thanks, the Executive Director, SME Directorate, BOI, Mr. Wahid Olagunju, reassured the state government of the bank's commitment to MSME development in the state. On behalf of the boards and many members of the industry, and indeed the entire South Bank, we say a big thank you to you for the hospitality accorded our delegation today. Um, well, like you said, it's a, a divine assignment, it's an ordained assignment. And it's also not a coincidence that um, the Sean of the Shore is using the bank at this time, <laughs> who is our brother, not today our managing director, Mr. Rashid Olorua. We are glad that you've honored him. You've done him a very big honor by being the first state to respond to his letter asking for an office, and you donated the office fully uh, paid for, and your staff have fully supported our own staff of grant here to ensure that the office takes off. We will deliver our mandate. We will work as serious as to ensure that we help industrialize our social state. You are one of our leading development partners, and we work hand in hand to ensure that everything goes on well. Nigeria records post-harvest losses and wastages annually in the agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund.
From the governor's office, the two development partners converge on the commission insights of the Bank of Industries office in Oshun. It is with great joy and honor that I welcome you all today to witness the official commissioning of the Bank of Industries Osho State Office in Oshogo, the state of Osho. May I seize this opportunity to publicly acknowledge and thank His Excellency, the Executive Governor, Obeni Rauf Arekbeshola, for the kind provision of this edifice that is today the Ocean State Office of Bank of Industry. Your Excellency, by this singular visionary developmental initiative, the MSME community of Ocean State are now within easy reach of BOI's developmental finance and business advisory services. It is our hope and expectation that this development will further strengthen the existing partnership between BOI and Ocean State by way of enhancing financial inclusion for entrepreneurs in the state, as well as vastly improving our service turnaround time to our customers. The Ocean State Deputy Governor expressed the administration's appreciation to the bank for establishing an office in the state. I'm greatly delighted to be part of this remarkable ceremony which signals the birth of an operational base of the Bank of Industry in the state of Oshun. It is gratifying to note that the age-long partnership between the state government and the bank has crystallized into the establishment of the state office of the bank in Oshobo, the state capital. We no longer have to go to Akure to assess the process of the bank. The importance of the bank in providing affordable funds for industrial investment cannot be overemphasized. The facilitation by the state government of the establishment of the state of Oshun office of the Bank of Industry the commissioning of which we are here gathered is a deliberate effort to bring the windows of industrial funding through the bank to the doorstep of industrial investors in the state. I'm aware that there are diverse other industrial funds from which our people can benefit. It is my fervent hope that genuine investors will have unfettered access to these credit support avenues. The Deputy Governor urged BUI to extend more assistance to industrialists in the state. I therefore wish to call on the Bank of Industry to inject sizable investable funds to the state of Oshun for immediate and massive industrial investment in the state. Let me give an assurance that you have a reliable ally and the state government, as the government will continue to provide an enabling environment for business to thrive. I wish to seize this opportunity to call on both local and foreign investors to make us show their choice investment destination. Your investment decision in this regard will be well placed. As enduring precursors for profitable investments are here, why the state's industrial policy is investor friendly. Let me very sincerely appreciate once again the management of the Bank of Industry for bringing the services of the bank to Oshun. I have no doubt in my mind that the bank will enjoy full patronage. I also wish to admonish members of the organized private sectors to take positive advantage of the presence of BOI in the state of Oshun. From now on, it will and can only get better. And we have cause to smile. I thank you all for your kind attention as I commission the office of BOI in Oshobo, the state of Oshun. God bless you.
to the glory of Almighty God for advancement and development of small scale and medium scale industry in the state of Osho. I commission the back of industry's office in the name of Almighty God. Amen.